Well, how many people are on our group? It's ten. ten I think it's ten spiders that we're all traveling together from South Florida. And the most excitement that we get is on a dog trailer that has come with us. Two dog trailers, actually. So, that's a cool photo. That cool bikes here. It's awesome. So, I'm here with the Saunders family. I'll make a movie here. So, we've got Andrea <laughs> and her husband, Scott. And they've been awesome to travel with. And they're also here with their son, Josh. And we're all here together from um, the group is Miami Spider Riders. And they're awesome. If you're in Miami, hook them up, look them up. Anyway, let's get back to the dog trailer. This is this is so cool. Um, and if you're traveling with, it can even be a medium-sized dog that's sitting here, right? Yeah, absolutely. So a small to medium-sized dog. And this goes right on to the back of the spider. So I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to show you a little bit about this. And then we'll interview the owners of this amazing, um, this amazing dog trailer. And let me show you how it, it just hooks up. But you just use a regular hitch that comes with the bike. Is that right? That's correct. It's a regular hitch. And so it comes on and just connects like a regular trailer. It has the lights on the back. Oh, look how cute. Hi, look at the little nosies. So it has windows on each side. Um, and it has a little, um, we'll put clean me. This is a door. Clean me. Okay. So, um, and then it has a, what is it? A solar, a solar, a solar fan and another little exhaust there. So it helps them stay cool in there during hot riding. What, what, what's the brand that you guys have? What, what's the name Wags of it? Wags Pet Trailers. W-A-G-S. Wags. And it's just wags.com kind of thing to find them? Wagstrailers.com. Okay. I'll put the link below if anybody's interested in this. I have absolutely no affiliation. I'm just so, I think it's just so cool to be able to travel with your little pets. And how much does something like this go for? Outfitted in this way uh, is a little over $6,000 plus the charge to deliver it. Woo. And uh, that's a lot of money, but uh, yeah. you, you got, you know, you, you, people love their pets. It's like traveling with your children. You want to make sure they're comfortable. Um, and can you buy it? You can, I'm sure you can buy it used places too, right? Yes. As a matter of fact, we bought this one used. We had one custom built about 15 years ago. Uh, had it paint matched to the bike. That's cool. Um, did it exactly what we wanted. And with, with the freight was about 7,000. Wow. So this okay. one we got for about half price used. But it lasts forever. I would, I would think once you buy one, you never need to buy another one. You don't. They last a very long time. Can we? Um, can you open it so we can see? Take a look inside. Yeah. Oh, look how cute! Now these are little. Are they? Uh, just mini, mini, poodles. mini poodles. Hi. That'd be funny if one just bit up my hand clean hey, off. This is Jasmine <laughs> and this is Sunny. Oh, hi Jasmine. Hi Sunny. Look how cute, they look happy. They look like they're dying to get out though. Absolutely. Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. They like being with people. They do. So this is really cool. So there's the fan that we, the solar fan. And it is padded in here, which it's kind of soft in here, as well as you guys added this in just to make sure they don't bump their little heads on there. Yes. Um, that, it's, it's just so cool. Speaking of cool, how do you know it's cool enough when you're riding in the summer in like in, in South Florida, for example? Well, we've actually used a camera that has a uh, temperature sensor in it. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's we cool. We use it for our camper. We use it for everything. And it will actually send my cell phone an alert if the temperature gets too high. Oh, that's so smart. I didn't know you guys had that. That's so great. Because yeah. um, I was worried about that. I'm right, we're riding behind yeah. you. I'm thinking, man, it looks like it'd be so hot in there. But, uh, but it's not. It's great. And then when you're riding in the cold weather, you know, you put blankets in there, you bundle them up, and then you close the windows, you close the vents, and, Correct. you know, they'll still get air circulation, you know, leave a little circ air going in there. Yes. Um, that is so cool. And you guys took, you guys actually took the dogs on the tail of the dragon, right? We did. We did. They rode how did the that go? How, how did they like the tail of the dragon? Well, we got to the end, we checked on them, everything was good. They didn't throw up? No. They, they, <laughs> We're no worse for the wear. I would have loved to have seen um, a video of um, of them in the back. That's what you're gonna do next time. I would love to pay for a camera, put it inside, mount it, and then do the tail and drag it, and then watch the dogs all over the place. And like, it'd be so funny. I'm sure they moved around a little bit. That would have been a great video of like them <laughs> bouncing around. <laughs> put like rubber against the sides, pat it, and have them bounce around. That's a good time. 
Uh, but nice, no animal cruelty, no animals were hurt in the making of this video, correct? Correct. Okay, that's very important. <laughs> our, our very dog, important our disclaimer. Our dogs have ridden in trailers for years, everywhere. That's awesome. I just love how um, all the all the work you did in here. It, it just, you know, the little padding and everything you did in here to make it so comfy. And you had room for a double bag of your stuff or their food and stuff. No, right? that's a, no, that's a double stuff. bag of like our winter stuff. And winter clothes. Okay. But it also, see, because it's they're small, it's kind of it kind of gives padding so that again, so the hopefully they're not, they're not flying sloshing around. around. All right. That's so cool. All right. And as far as the bike pulling it, you don't even know it's back there. Yeah, that was my next question. It, yeah, it, great. It trails the bike perfectly. Doesn't sway around. It's good. That's awesome. So it's very stable. Yes. I noticed it has a little kind of, you know, little wheels. Um, can you go, you know, I was behind you. So, or you were behind me at one point and we were going a little bit back. Mm -hmm. Safety first, speed limit the whole way. Uh, but you guys are easily going 70 miles an hour on these and, and no problem, right? Yeah. Um, and it comes with a spare tire, right? Well, spare yeah. tire is an option, but we, okay. we always add it. Yeah. You always have a spare tire just in yeah. case. Have you ever had to use a spare tire? No. That's good. No. That's good. These wheels are really, really anything? good. Uh, it's got a torsion axle in it, so it handles very well on the road. It handles bumps very well. I love it. Oh, let me, actually, if you can come around with the camera, and the, that's pretty cool, the window, so you can see out. It's actually really cool. I didn't realize the view out the window out there. It, like, they can see so much. And it's really so, cool because people wave at them on the highway as we're going down the highway when they see funny. their faces. And then you also, at one point, you at one point we were riding, and the dog was in the back seat in a little, a little. you don't have that on the bike now, but no. a little seat thing. And no. the whole time the dog's just, st the dog's facing backwards, just staring at me. And I was like a little, <laughs> the whole time the dog's just looking at me. What are you doing? Uh, that's great. Thank you so much for your time and letting us know about this. This is like the most, I, I posted a couple of pictures on Instagram about this. And I think it's got the most comments. Like, oh my God, where did they get that? Where did they do that? It is so cool. I actually keep begging them to take me around in this. When I was like too tired to ride my bike. I'm like, I, it could definitely, I could fit in there and sleep the whole way. Do you think a small child could fit in here? I will tell you, the, the company that makes them says that they test the trailers with people in them. Really? really? I was just joking. No, they really I thought don't. there'd be some kind of disclaimer to not put your child in here. Well, you don't really want to, but yeah, they don't. do test them. They, they, they believe that they're that safe that for their own testing purposes. They Whose have child did they use though? Was it theirs or some like I, some, like, some neighbor's kid that made a lot of noise? They didn't say. <laughs> but I would definitely, I, I could see sleeping in there and being towed around. Maybe, maybe you'll take me when on the tail. Home, yeah, there. when we get back home. You'll take me around? Or I can, we can take you on the Take me on the tail. Oh my God, that'd be so much fun. On the tail of dragon, my view would be from the doggy window. That'd be awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you for sharing. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.